over the bye week, obviously it's time for self scouting. What are some of the things that kind of you know in that evaluation of your of yourself and also kind of the defense that you were able to take away? Uh, I feel like uh, I feel like I could. I feel like I've been playing pretty solid, but I mean, I've, I'm pretty hard on myself. My biggest critic. Uh, I feel like I can play better. Uh, obviously, want to get more takeaways for uh, the defense. Really, that's a big thing of mine going into this this last stretch. You know, trying to produce takeaways for the offense uh, and just trying to be consistent. You know, trying to get better each and every game. I feel like I've been doing that, but uh, obviously, it's, you can keep getting better uh, as a defense. We've been playing better communication wise, uh, just responding well. I feel like as a team, we could uh, still work towards that. Like. Offense, defense, special teams, just on responding better. Some games we responded better than others. Some games we uh, continue to fight, fight back, came up short. But uh, ultimately, it's just the process. We're working on it every day. So the bye week was good for us. Just get back healthy, get our minds refreshed, to go finish out the rest of the season. When you look at some of the performances on the road, you know, even like the last game in Cincinnati, some issues in the first half, shut, shut them out in the second half. Where do you, where have you identified as some of the fixes that you guys can implement to make sure you have a more consistent road performance? Uh, I would say just... I would say it's really just us, like, energy level, you know. We got to, like Coach Dillon said, we have to produce that energy even when we're on the road. I feel like at times uh, we never – even the game is going bad or good. This team, good thing about this team, we don't freak out, we don't flinch. Like, people are not going at each other on the sideline. We're really trying to figure out the cause, I mean, the solution to the problem. But uh, as far as – I just feel like an energy level, we just have to embrace, you know, going on the road. And once we embrace that, I feel like our play will – just do the rest. Uh, we're a good football team, but we all have to be, you know, keep each other up, keep uh, keep the energy high, so we're able to make those plays and be motivated, offense, defense, special teams, and vice versa. So. When you look at this Oklahoma State squad, obviously there's they had some struggles uh, so far this year, but some dangerous playmakers, you know, Ollie Gordon in the backfield, Brendan Presley is one of the uh, most productive receivers in the conference. What jumps out to you most about what uh, this Cowboy offense likes to do schematically? Um, they're pretty similar to a lot of teams that we've seen in the Big 12 kind of do a, they kind of do simple things, you know. Uh, they give a little, uh, little bit away with their indicators and things like that. But uh, obviously they had a, a running back over there. They like to run the ball. Everybody in college football does. Everybody in college football says they have a running back. They like to run the ball. So um, obviously stopping the run and then eliminating their playmakers, you know, they have uh, in the past game uh, is something that we uh, trying to hone in on. So. This week is really just about the process. We feel like, you know, we match up pretty well. We can match up with anybody. It's just about us, you know, doing our job every play, executing, playing fast, physical, with energy on the road. So, What are you expecting, you know, atmosphere-wise, uh, you know, being on the road at uh, OSU? Uh, I've been there. I uh, played there my freshman year. We actually won there uh, on Halloween on the game winning sack. So, like, that's probably, like, the biggest, <laughs> you know, it was sold-out crowd, things like that. The bench is right by the stands, you know, the fans are right there. So I expect it to be a, a, a great atmosphere, and I expect us to, you know, rise up to the challenge. You know, it's a homecoming game, another homecoming game. So, uh, you know, we trying to take that challenge as a team, you know, to go win on the road, you know, go play better on the road, be better on the road, you know, be the same. Uh, road or the way, it doesn't really matter, but just to be better, obviously. Obviously, you guys are close, you know, on the precipice of bowl eligibility, and that's a pretty significant accomplishment so far. Is that weighing on you, on you guys' mind, knowing that you, you just have to get one more? No. Um, I would say that's the biggest difference from last year's team to this year's team. We're not really focusing on, like, the glitz and glamour, like, the number behind your, uh, in front of your name, the rankings, or, you know, things of that nature. We're just focusing on each and every week. Uh, and these guys are embracing the process, you know, each and every week. We're just trying to really win whoever, beat who's ever in front of us that week. We're not worry about, you know, being in a bowl. We expect it to be in a bowl game. Like, you know, we expect it to do that, all the hard work and stuff that we put in, uh, the leaders put into this program, a culture that's expected of us. So we're just trying to be the best we can each and every day, each and every week.